Hello, my friend. How you doing? It's your buddy Phil here. I just got done with a class called PMP Exam Immersion, and I learned from students in the class that some of them are spending a lot of money on very expensive training, PMI approved training, and some of those trainings are very laborious on the ITTOs. I just wanted to make it perfectly clear that your PMP exam is not going to focus on the minutia of ITTOs in this book, okay? If your course is giving you quiz upon quiz with minutia from here, you are going down the wrong path. The exam is more situational. If anything, I would recommend you spend more time reading the Agile Practice Guide than the sixth edition minutia. The sixth edition, if I were you, I would read page 563 to 635 at a high level. I would read this in detail. As far as this is concerned, anyone using this solely to train you for PMP may not really be your friend. I wouldn't do it. Why? There's not enough substance for foundation here. The only great things I would say learn from here are the principles, the 12 principles, and the concept of the value delivery system. And maybe a few topics here and there, that's it. But your exam is certainly not gonna be resting on this book. A few weeks back, you might have seen me on this channel talking about this book, PMP Exam Immersion. I want to give you a very quick crash course on my immersion content. Here's the summary. If your exam is coming up soon, focus more on people. Focus more on the mindset about individuals and how they interact. Focus more on value for the customer. Focus a whole lot more on understanding what the project manager should do in conflict situations, leadership situations, what servant leadership is, so on and so forth. Are you ready for a crash course right now to boot you into shape, to make sure that when you go into that exam center, you know what to expect? Or maybe it's sitting down at your computer. I don't know. But whichever venue you choose, go in with the PMI mindset for the PMP exam. I call it mantras for PMP exam success. We're going to blow through the three areas in my PMP mantra super quick. I go through this in more detail in my course, but I want you to get the gist and the understanding of it so you're not blindsided again. It's not about the minutia in here. It's not about the ITTO babble and parrot fashion questions. It's about the mindset, knowing what to do as a PMP, someone who has clout, someone who can negotiate, someone who knows that trade-offs aren't a bad thing, okay? Are you ready? If you are, let's jump into it. PMP exam mindset mantra. Very speedily, let's hit people, process, and business. As someone going into the exam, you gotta be focused on the customer and you gotta work with the customer and the stakeholders to move the project forward. You gotta do this with fairness as a steward, a fiduciary of those assets entrusted to you. You gotta focus on the team and work in the team's best interest. You gotta trust the team and be a servant leader, be a mentor, have integrity, be honest and lead. The true measure of leadership is influence. That's what John Maxwell, America's leadership guru says, and you will be tested on your ability to influence your understanding of how to influence on this exam. And you will be tested on agility. In the process part, you'll be tested on 
selecting the right life cycle, tailoring it, hybridizing life cycles and approaches, and the agile mindset where the process domain is concerned, the ability to think systematically, strategically, to be aware of changes and how those impact the firm and how change may impact your project, the ability to inspect and adapt. We often say Scrum is on three pillars of TIA, transparency, inspection, and adaptation. These are all important as you solve problems. It's also important to realize quality as an important factor for your exam and how that is in the middle of the triple constraint of schedule, cost, and scope. The concept of risk, uncertainty that matters on your project from a positive or negative standpoint, the concept of governance, the importance of managing all areas of knowledge, buy-in, like I said in the beginning, and the importance of closing out a project or phase, and don't forget the retrospective. Last but not least, in the business world, put on your product owner hat, be aware of your environment, of the outcomes that you expect, be a benefits owner for a minute. Read page 33 in the PMBOK Guide 6th edition. Understand the concept of organizational change and what you should do to help people better cope with change. Understand the impact of the project on the firm. Understand the impact of the organization on the project. Understand the concept of being a benefits owner and what that means on page 33 forward in the sixth edition. The concept of value swapping, money for nothing and change for free, right? Understand the concept of value delivery. When I talk about money for nothing and change for free, it's not just a play on words of dire straits. You got to open page 77 of the Agile Practice Guide and truly understand the kind of agile contracts you could have. Value delivery and your obsession as a product owner about it will help you on the exam. It's all about value. If it doesn't add value, we cut it out. We take a look at our value stream from a quality perspective from an agile perspective and if it doesn't add value we cut it out the concept of sustainable community this is what servant leaders do they connect people to people the concept of lean thinking and also the concept of gating in traditional methods toll gate stage gate kill point and all that stuff if you have enjoyed this and found it to be informational, my friends, hit the like button and do me a favor, hit that bell icon because I'm constantly releasing streams of value to you about this exam. So what can you take away? It's a mindset to get this exam down pat. Also take away the important fact, it's not cramming the ITTOs. You got to move away from cramming, my friends. Instead, internalize, understand, embrace the mantra, you're going to be good. This is not something I want you to spend an inordinate amount of time on. Don't do it. Like I said, value delivery system, understand the 12 principles, move on. This one, however, I want you to spend time on. And if you are looking for a solid half day course, you need to come on down to hpmexam.com where I teach the PMP exam immersion at least twice a month, usually over the weekends. You found this to be helpful. I'd appreciate you sharing it with a buddy or two. It always helps the algorithm and it helps them as well. Because a lot of people don't know that there's hidden treasure in these videos. Thank you very much, my friend. I wish you all the very best. Bye for now.